Hi, this is Mark with NHA. This is an ABB ACH 550 series drive. Want to do a quick video on how to start this drive up when you initially apply power to it. If you're waiting for your startup technician uh, to program it and you don't have time to wait, you can easily get it up and running or the motor up and running off the keypad and I'll show you how to do that. Um, I put the drive in the assistant mode to bring up this display. This isn't a new drive, so I'm forcing it to go into this, but this is normally what you would see when you get a brand new drive and you power it up for the first time. It just says welcome to the ABB ACH 550 series drive. If you hit OK, this display will not be there. It's just saying do you want to run the startup uh, assistant. Um, anyways, the next display that would come up is what language do you want to run it at? Or, you know, or in. We'll go ahead and put the English is fine. It'll ask you what do you want to do? You can commission the drive or what they call spin the motor. If you highlight spin the motor and push OK, it will force the drive to reconfigure itself to run off of the keypad. So it's a manual start stop off your hand up auto and your reference input is off of the keypad. So it's pretty handy and it's a, a lot of people use it. So I'll just continue on here. But um, anyways, the drive will give you a couple of warnings. It'll, it'll basically say that it's going to disable this terminal strip over here and uh, um, if you had a safety or start stop or something like that that's opened the drive will ignore it so be aware of that so go ahead and hit OK it will continue giving you warnings um, you know it's going to limit the speed go ahead and push OK right now it's reprogramming the drive and it says what do you want to set the motor data if you want to use uh, do you want to set it or do you want to use defaults I'll say yes I want to set it this is where you can enter in your motor nameplate. It will remember this, so I always just set it. Um, this particular motor is rated for 230 volts. I'll save that. It's rated for 0.9 amps. I'll save that. 60 hertz. And 1725 RPM is correct. And 0.3 horsepower is correct. And now it will, it'll tell you some more warnings. It'll, it'll explain to you that you're going to be running off the hand up auto and it's manual control only. Uh, some more warnings, just keep on hitting OK and then it will jump you back out. So push the exit button and now when you push the hand start it'll give you the first start alarm. It'll do a motor ID run and what it's doing right now is it's testing the motor and the wiring impedance. It also checks to make sure that everything's safe to run. Once the motor takes off and runs it um, gets up to about 10% speed or so, you can hit the OFF button and you're good to go. So now if you want to start and stop the drive, you can just go ahead and hit the start button. You can then use your up arrow to increase your speed reference or the down arrow to decrease it. And the motor is protected with the, you know, from the drive's electronic motor overload. Protection is enabled and all that other stuff is, is in there now, so it's safe to run the motor. Um, the only thing I would stress is that it's manual control, it's, it's, it's manual on off and it's manual reference of how fast or slow to go. Not a big deal but um, you can't just turn it on and leave it overnight and leave it unsupervised. Anyway, that's about it.